Neil, first and foremost, could you just update us on where your squad is at ahead of tomorrow and how you might staff the game, if I put it that way, in terms of balancing the, the cup commitments in the league? Um, well, obviously, Ravi's sustained a knee injury. I think he's going to be six weeks. Um, but we've got the squad all prepared for tomorrow. He's, he's added onto the injury list, which has come through the games, and it's part of what we've got. And we, we build the squad for tomorrow, and we go again against uh, Livingston tomorrow night. How do you view the mood around the club at the moment? Because on face value, the response has been good in terms of results since the setback before the international break. But I think it's fair to say not all of the crowd are being won over by what is on the pitch. No, it's understandable. You can see it, but I think... I think when you come into these games, these period of games, it's, um, I think it's, it's tough with the players. It's, it's mentally we had a big result on Thursday uh, and it's how you get over that and then you approach the next game. Um, and I think the games have gone well in the results, but obviously we've seen that uh, we got a little bit anxious on, um, on Sunday not getting the second goal and that, that does create a little bit of anxiety amongst the team when we defended well. We won the game and now we push on to the, next, to the, to the cup game on uh, Wednesday night. How do you stop that anxiety in the crowd building up and then it in turn touching on the team? I think you keep pushing ahead with where we're doing and winning, winning the game. And confidence comes from winning and winning the game and defending well. There's lots of, there's lots of, uh, there's lots of part of the game that we're pleased with, the mentality. It's, I think these games, is, it, it's, it's a mental tiredness sometimes when you have to prepare. Um, you come in games, you get the game on a Saturday, then after the game you haven't got much time to dwell on it. So it does give you a bit to focus on the next game's coming. So we prepare, we, we analyse what's gone on, where we spend a bit of time on looking what went on and, and then we prepare for the next game. And I think that's you get into these cycles for a three-week games, um, a, a tough mentally for the lads, but the lads are prepared really well and they're really focused on... Uh, on uh, for Wednesday night. How is Michael dealing with the scrutiny on him? Because there is a bit of focus on him given the, the slip-ups early in the season. Mm. And he must be aware of that. You must be aware of that, isn't it? Yeah, of course. We all are. We can't get away from that. But it's. Uh, I think. I think when we all came together, I think you see what's. You, we speak as a group. Um, and you analyse and you're prepared for what's coming and all scenarios and I think we've prepared for this and we deal with it and I think again with the injuries as well you know that you've built a strong squad and it's time for players to come into the, uh, into the team and they take us into the next uh, hopefully into the semi-final great again at Hamden Park playing another semi-final if we win on, on Wednesday night Neil it's a sort of strange situation three wins in a row for Rangers but obviously it's almost a sense of slight unhappiness amongst the fans booing at the final whistle against Motherwell. Um, has it surprised you, the intensity and the scrutiny that everything is under? No, I, I was well versed, Michael told us when we came here what to expect. And I think that comes with the territory when you're such a big club as Rangers. You know, you expect that, you know, if, and that long as you're working to a to a format that you know it's going to breed success and I think that's what we're doing and then along the way you have going to little have bumps along the road but there's loads of things that go uh, build into that and as I alluded to earlier it's it's the it's the three game week and it's not just last week it's the three games before that I think when we played Savet we beat Savet then we beat PSV we beat Real Betis all top sides and you know it's getting over that and mentally getting prepared for the next game bringing yourself up to the next game and I think again against uh, against the, and the game on Sunday, I think we, we won the game and we move on. Is it fair to say that the team is still searching for, it, for its own identity in terms of, I guess, the management team knowing the best formation, best selection? I'm, I'm not so sure about uh, selection or formation. I think the squad that we've got, I think, uh, alluding to, it, it's difficult when you've got three games every week. It takes so players, you have to prepare properly. And I think the players that come in and take, and we've got the, the way we like to play and the, and the players all come in and are uh, used to the way we're getting to play now. And I think it's, again, we won on Sunday and we move on to the next game. And we want to win on, in the quarter-final on Wednesday night. With Celtic out of the competition, obviously Rangers big favourites mm. for the League Cup. In terms of the overall project here, how critical is it that, that Rangers do win this competition? I think when you look at it, I think running on four competitions, which is great. We had the league last Sunday, then we had Europe in the week, and now we've got the League Cup on Wednesday. It's fantastic. And that's what we all come here for, and that's what we want to be involved in. And we prepare exactly the same as we do every game, and we're focused on uh, winning on Wednesday night and the game ahead, how tough it's going to be for us. Just finally for me, how close do you feel the team are to, to gelling and finding that cohesion that I think a lot of fans feel it doesn't have right now? 
Well, I think if you look at the game, I think looking at the game, there's, there's, there's you, I think there's certain aspects of the game that you think um, we could take our opportunities better. But when you look at our free clean sheets, the way the team defends and the structure of the team and the way we are playing at times, I think it's coming. It's definitely coming. And I think it's, uh, it only, looks, only bowls well for the future. Do you feel there's added pressure for you to win this competition, given that Celtic are out? No, there's no added pressure. It's just pressure being at Rangers, isn't it? I think the historical of, of Rangers of winning trophies, that's what we're about. That's what this big club's all about, is winning trophies. And no matter who's in it, that's what we're focused on in winning in the next, in the next competition. You talk about you feel like that performance is coming. Mm. Is, there, is there belief that it can happen tomorrow? Because you're talking about the mental side of things mm. that might have affected the players on Sunday. The manager was also clearly not happy with... You were talking about sloppy passes and things like that going forward. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying, but I think... We're all harsh. That's how you improve. I think you can't. I think sometimes results they, they hide a, multi, a multitude of sins. Sometimes you can you don't accept one nils until you've got to look at it properly. You analyse it uh, truthfully and honestly. And I think the side have and the group have, and we've we've um, we've spoken about it, and we move on to Wednesday, um, where we can improve again. And I think they're harsh on themselves. It's a harsh group. It's a hard group, and that's the only way that you get success. You know, that's a way of working. You accept that maybe things could have been better. Of course it could have. But then with clean sheet, third clean sheet on the roll, tough games, it, 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 it holds you strong. Your foundation of clean sheets is a, is a, is a recipe for success. Yeah, you your your performances are, are not far away from coming. You're almost two months into the season. Mm. Why are they not here already? Well, I think they are. I think if you look at the game again, I think we've been pleased with certain aspects of the game and the way we've played. I think there's parts of how we combine and how we develop the game and how the manager wants to play football. I think it's in every game we've actually played it. Um, I think Motherwell the other day, they set up really well and they, they held it back and we, 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 we showed some good, um, good, good passages of play and how to build. It's hard to play against a defensive block. Um, and you have to be patient and I think that's what we're showing and our combination play in certain times around the attacking third have been excellent. We've looked at it. It hasn't finished with a goal but I think that will come in the end. And just in terms of the supporters' reaction has been touched upon there, were you taken aback by it after a win? No, not at all. We've been not taken aback by it at all. It's, I think when you win there, they're so excited and if you lose, they can be, not lose, but if they're unhappy with it, they let you know that's part and parcel of being at Rangers, I think. What would your message to those fans being your group really unhappy even after that, even after that window win? Just good supporting us. They give us great support. I come out every time through that tunnel. It's fantastic. You hear them cheering you, and they will cheer us again tomorrow night. Uh, yeah, tomorrow night they'll be cheering the team. You know, so keep cheering us, keep supporting us, and we're actually working for them to be successful. The fans that perhaps aren't happy with how things have been going this season, how do you get them back on side? Well, we just keep doing the things we're doing. Obviously, hopefully, we can get our chances and score a few more goals for them. You know, and. Um, but it's a work in progress and, and we're definitely moving in the right direction. Albeit at times, it, we might have to take one step back and two steps forward, but that's what it is when you're building a successful team. You know, it seems like we're just waiting for this big performance to come from Rangers. If that does come tomorrow night, what do you think that can do both for the players and for, for the fans? Do you not think Real Betis was a big performance? You know, we played, we, we played PSV, was that not a big performance? 2-2. Two, two. So we have, we have got them in there, you know, it's, it's sustaining that all the time, it's difficult. You know, but I think we have shown at times that we are going places, we are moving forward without a doubt. Any other uh, injury news, team news, Neil? No, it's all, uh, all the, the injuries, as I think you've heard, we've sustained the Ravi. Um, but when you, when you build a squad, it's four, we're in four competitions, you're going to get injuries. And I think you become a mentality where you have to say, that's what we've got, that's, that's the players we've got, we're going to be successful with a, with a group of our players we've got. It gives other people opportunities. Scott Wright come on at the weekend, done outstandingly well for the team, so it's great for him.